Hi everyone. So whenever we want to declare or create variables in any programming language, we cannot simply type something and say that this is our variable name. We have to follow certain rules to create the variables. And each programming language has its own and different uh, rules for creating the variables. For example, PHP has different rules. Java and JavaScript has different rules for declare and create the variables. And in this part, we will learn how we can declare variables and what rules we have to follow for that. All right. And uh, with that, we will discuss some important interview questions, variable syntax, and some important and interesting things about PHP variables also. All right. Firstly, we will go through with the old rules. Then we will verify these rules with the program and all. All right. So first rule is whenever we want to create a variable in PHP, the variable should start with the dollar sign for example if you want to put a variable name is let's say a then you have to type like dollar a the dollar will uh, help php to understand that we want to create a variable all right after that variable name cannot start with the number right variable name can only start with a letter or underscore for example you can create a variable name like a underscore a or something but you cannot simply like that dollar one or dollar two this is an invalid variable and that will give you the error all right we will check all of these things after just uh, going through with the all of these rules then variable name cannot start with a special character variable name can start with the underscore but if you want to or you try to start the variable name with the uh, you can say that question mark m percent star uh, less than greater than sign then it will throw a error then variable name can contain only alphanumeric characters and underscore in a variable you can just uh, declare uh, you can add in the variable alphabetic that means letter uh, and after first letter you can uh, just add a numeric and you can add the underscore also but in a variable you cannot add special characters for example again uh, plus sign minus uh, question mark star you cannot add these kind of characters with the variable and these are the case sensitive if you want to declare the name and then you will declare the same name with the different case sense like uh, with the capital n or with the complete capital letter uh, variable name then these are the three different variables you can just store the three different values they are not count only one and at last uh, variable syntax so variable will always start with dollar then variable name then we have to put the equal to and then you can add any value to it if you are adding string then you have to use double quotes or single quotes yes you can use double quotes as well as sing single quotes and uh, if you are not using adding their uh, uh, letter then if so let's say you are adding their uh, numeric value for example one two three and all then you don't need to add these um, uh, quotes single quotes or double quotes and at last you sh you always have to uh, put the semicolon all right so now let's follow and verify all of these rules for the variable so what i'm going to do i'm creating a uh, one more file with php underscore rules dot php and uh, then php sign and i'm just types typing something there let's say hello and let's see is this file is working fine or not here we go and we got the output there perfect so now so let's say if i just declare a variable with the name and put some values let's say anil Sidhu, then it will work perfectly fine you can just echo it and print it right there is no issue here you will see that so but if as i just of with the first rule we have to start the variable with the dollar sign so if i just remove this dollar sign php cannot understand this like this is a variable name or what then it will throw an error and you will just find uh, any error or this page so you might be wondering that why we are getting this page why we are not getting some specific error so for that we have to just uh, setting up the things and we will just do that in the upcoming part but for a moment you can understand if we are getting this page that means there is some error in the 
program all right okay so this is the first rule second or let's verify the second rule we cannot uh, start variable name with the number so if just i'm putting their dollar sign again right and so let's say and you you know that this is working fine right so now let's say if we just provide there a numeric value let's say one name then again it will throw a error here you can see that it will not work right so variable name cannot start with the number but yes they can start with any letter as well as underscore also if you just put there like this it will perfectly work fine even you can use the double underscore also there is will be no issue with that perfect all right then a variable cannot start with a special character yeah so let's say if you just want to start it with the star right then it will throw an error As you can see that it will definitely throw an error all right so uh, the next thing is yeah a variable name can contain alphanumeric characters and underscore so we know that we cannot put the numeric values at the first but we can add numeric value in the between or at the last so if i just put their name one then it will perfectly work fine there is no issue and you can add the underscore also it will again working perfectly fine no issue but you cannot add some special characters for example if i just put their ampersand then it will throw an error definitely it will throw error right here we go so we have to uh, that variable can contain only alphanumeric and underscore then uh, if the, the variable names are case sensitive if we just put the name variable with a different different case sensitive uh, thing then uh, the these are the three different variable for example if i'm just putting their name the name is Anil Sidhu, which is my name. Then let's say I'm just putting their name, and this there I'm putting their Peter, and third one is name. There I'm adding their Bruce, and last one if I'm just adding their name and E will be capital. Then all are the different names. For example, name will print the Anil Sidhu there. There is some okay. I just forget to add the semicolon and it's into then name with the first letter capital will print the Peter, complete capital letters will print Bruce, and the last E capital letter will print the Tony. Right? So these are the uh, different variables as I mentioned. Then syntax you can see, see that we have to start with the dollar sign, then name equal to sign means we are assigning some value and there we can use the single quotes or double quotes yes you can use the single quotes also as i told you like this and if i'm putting their name then it will work perfectly fine here you can see that right all right and uh, after that one last thing so if you have a variable like a is 30 and b is 30 right and if you just want to echo dollar a or b then definitely it will return 30 right and b will also return 30 no issue so to just uh, make it shorter you can simply put it like this and still it will work fine there is no issue right i hope you understand the whole of the, the these rules about php variables if you still have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please subscribe my channel share this video with the, your friends you can add your feedback in comment section and please like this video. This is my PTM donation number. Thank you everyone.